Hello guys, my name is Ivan and welcome back to a brand new video. Uh, today in this e episode of the basic scripting tutorial series, we are going to be talking about the instance.new function. So anyway, let's get started. Uh, let's insert a script. Click on that plus button search up script and click on it uh -huh. okay now now let's create a variable local object equals instance dot new and in these two argument so the first one it is going to be the object the object's name yeah so the object from Roblox we are going to be creating a part for example and then comma the second argument always remember when you're coding don't forget to add a comma if you have a like if you're creating like like if you're doing anything and you have multiple ar arguments like this is an argument and then the instance parent we're going to make it go inside the, the workspace yeah we have two arguments in this case we have the object and its parent and the comma s s separates these two into separate Arguments, yeah, these are called arguments inside these parentheses. <coughs> anyway, so do control A, then do control C, then click on this view tab, click on output to make sure to make sure we execute this code inside the command bar yeah so click on this to open the command bar and you have it open right here I blin wait there so control V to paste this thing this code and we are going to run it as you can see we executed it the output recorded it saying we created an object and the object is the part and it's now in the the workspace <clears throat> uh here it is i'm just going to bring it here select and drag it here so here with the instance dot new function we have just created a part now i said object these things they are objects too but developers tend to say that objects are usually things that are inside a service like a workspace it's a service but it is at the same time an object too of roblox because it has properties it has things the same thing as a part so a part and a service have similarities it's just um a service it's a it's, it's like a folder like the players this is a service too this service um it storages players like actual players if we were to, to join a game then inside this players service we'll have our player objects like our player name our player data and everything Lighting is a service too, and like I said, services have properties, so, so you can do, so you can change things with these services, like the clock time. Uh, right now it's twelve o'clock. Let's do it at twelve, at midnight. See, it creates some change. So, 
services and these type of objects inside these services they have some similarities this is an object this is an object and this is an object but don't forget that services are also objects of roblox so now um but you're probably thinking can you create a service i'll tell you this no why because the roblox has already built in your services are here and there are some services that there are a lot of services in Ro roblox it just they're currently hidden but if you have if you open up the settings things then you would go to uh studio i think it was studio right and you can show see a service plugin gui service you can show it in the explorer this is the explorer by the way and these are my properties over here just saying and you can also enable to show the core ui the core ui is the it's like the core part it shows you the the three lines here the thing i forgot what's called the chat bar the the backpack and the top bar over here yeah that's called a core ui so everything that is currently hidden right now it's all in the game it's just when you connect to the server it then shows up now you can also show hidden objects in the explorer like an instance um or you know a bunch of other things so just for your information just saying you can enable these things if you want to see them so let's just say if we want to enable core ui let's close it and we don't need that uh core there the welding ui there's also other the roblox ui there are also um plugins i have like the text maker plugin i have see there's also sound so, so the core ui has pretty much everything core gui editor and yeah so these are l l like the hidden objects that appear when you connect to the game so like it makes these things visible but um i don't really care about the score ui if you want it you can keep it for yourself but i don't need it because i never use it and you shouldn't be even using it either because roblox has already created things for the core ui it just it's there so you can see what's inside there and you can probably edit some scripts inside the core ui if you wanted to but never mind yes so anyway so yeah if you were to think oh services is an object and it's like similar with these kind of objects like, like, like a script a camera terrain a spawn location a part imagine doing that let's say we want to create workspace the workspace service control a control c and then control v now let's see if we will create the workspace service inside workspace itself <laughs> yeah all right execute press on the enter key ah we got an er error so it says unable to create an instance type of workspace workspace you see it's not a valid object of roblox it is it's an, it's an object it's it, it, it's a service but here's the thing it's not creatable services are not creative because they're already built in and there's no reason for you to create another folder yes all these services they're t t technically like folders where you stole for your store specific objects like these ones like i don't know how to describe these objects but i'm just not gonna call them like specific objects so even if you click on this it says search object imagine if we were to look up a workspace it does not exist why because it's a service it's not creatable it's already created and the thing is you cannot destroy it see nothing happened I did backspace now try control X nothing happens nothing and, and they'll throw you in error it just usually it would give you a specific information like about why it did not 
create workspace, it would usually say that workspace is not a valid object, it's a service, blah 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 blah. But yeah. <sighs> yeah. So I hope you guys understand this that you cannot create services that already exist. As well as you cannot create your own objects. Like you cannot create like say you want to create blah blah blah. You cannot like make your own objects. Roblox c control these objects and it decides whether it wants to add an object like this block you. As you can see, it's not a valid uh, instance name. It's not a valid object of Roblox. Like I said, services and these type of objects, like a part, a screen UI, uh, like other things that are over here, like accessory, a body color, a humanoid, a trail, a vehicle seat, a character mesh, all these, these are like specific parts that I would usually call. Uh, oh, there's also a work model. I wonder what, what that is. I don't care anymore. Yeah, so these are like the only objects. Services, on the other hand, like workspace. They're technically a folder. So like, they're a folder or they storage, um, objects, like valid objects. A part, a model. Or any of these things we just talked about over here. And also shows you an error over here so you can create your own part of I mean you can create your own object. So yeah, it's not even a thing at all. So so so, so don't even ask anybody. But yeah, anyway, so uh what else can we create? Oh yeah, I forgot to talk to you guys about something. So now as you can see, player. I said before that the player service stores you, you, it stores you, it stores players that join the server. But can you create a player inside the player service? Let, let's do game, get, get service, players. So can you inst insert a player inside the player service? So we have e e executed this line over here. See, it threw us an error. That means we cannot create a player. It says the current identity for I don't know five four cannot create a player, lacking permission. So we have no permission to create this player, even though it's a specific object. Uh, the reason why. It's because nobody joined. The player object creates when a player actually joins. When a player connects to the server, the player object cre creates itself inside the, the player service. And it already automatically lists the, the data. L like the player's name, the player's other properties, you, you, you know. And yeah. A anyway, so yeah, you can't create players, player objects. Um, so we have gone through. Oh my gosh, it's laggy. Whatever. We also gone through about services. That services like, what well, well, what is the difference between services and these t type of objects? And. Uh, let's try and create a part inside workspace. Then, actually, let's call the variable. Also, I forgot to tell you guys that you don't have to use the variable to create things. So, if you were to run something, like, run this command, you don't have to create the variable. Just, yeah, it creates the part anyway without the variable just for your information that you don't need a variable to create a part but if you're defining the object too like you were to define its properties like is it anchored what is its color or c collision or hmm, size 
yeah so, so then you will have to create a variable so because imagine if you were to write it like this there is nothing like if you were to write object or just part part say dot anchor equals true as you can see there is no specific variable for it because it's undefined so yeah always remember so local part and then say we want to wait um say we want to wait five seconds and in five seconds we're gonna create an effect called fire let's go with uh local fire equals instance dot new fire and inside the part now let's clear the output all you have to do is just press some um, Control K and then it'll clear itself out and let's see what happens. Oh, yeah, by the way, let's delete this part It's useless currently and Pay attention to the workspace the Explorer tab All right Creates the part in five seconds is going to create a fire effect inside. Oh, it created a fire effect inside the part so we have created a part wait what so we've created a part and in five seconds it created a fire effect a fire object inside the part there it is right over here a part with fire so, so yeah i'll conclude the video now so thank you guys for watching this video i hope this helped you guys and i will continue the series on next week or next upload rather and uh so thank you guys for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope it was helpful for you guys uh, be sure to like this video and subscribe if you have not and I'll see you guys in the next upload.